Hi everyone, this is Jay and you're looking at the ASUS EPC T101MT. This is my first impressions and the unboxing of the device. So let's open it. Get rid of the seal. We have the warranty card. There's the convertible netbook. Let's look at the accessories first. There's our power adapter. Technical updates. User manual. There's the battery. I don't see a CD or a DVD. And I guess it doesn't include a DVD because in order to reduce the use of substances harmful to the environment, the package does not come with the support DVD. Check out the laptop or the netbook. All right, let's see here. It's not attracting fingerprints, which is really nice. So it's made out of a fingerprint resistant mat material let's put the let's put the battery in and I guess I'll show you what's on the device here on the left side we have the air vent mic input headset output MMC SD SDHC slot I really like the design here I guess I should say my first impression of how it looks is well it looks sexy <laughs> it's the best way I can describe it looks really nice on the right side we have nothing except for one USB 2.0 and over here I'll show you that later later but that's the pen stylus pen slot Another USB, third USB 2.0 slot, and this is, it looks to be an RJ45 port, VGA, um, power input, Kensington lock, that's pretty much it. Let's open this up, see how it First thing I noticed about this is how small it is. I mean, I know it was supposed to be 10.1 inches, but when you see it in person, you get shocked a little. I don't like th these um, stickers here, but that's fine. I'll remove it later. I used to have the ASUS 1201N, which is a, sort of like a gamer netbook. and slightly bigger than this it's I think it was 12 inches so I'm used to this keyboard I like the chiclet style um, the difference now is that this doesn't attract fingerprint it's not glossy like before which is really nice same for the screen and I'm gonna put my main laptop right here to show you the size difference alright you're looking at a 15.6 inch 
laptop. I'm gonna place the netbook over it so you can see the size difference. See that? It is extremely portable. I really like the size. This is really good for classes or the office or going to the coffee shops and just pretty much taking a netbook with you. Alright, this is the second time I'm turning on the netbook. The first time it had to install the operating system and the programs that it came with and that took about 15 to 20 minutes to finish so the way you're looking at it now it, all the installations are done I was using it in tablet mode and that's why the screen is upside down let me fix that hold this button here for three seconds and it will well let's let it load for a bit This only has one gig of RAM. That's the stock option. I am planning to put another gigabyte tomorrow when the second package comes in. All right, changing the orientation. There we go. On the side here, we have a stylus pen and what I like about this is that it allows users to use either the pen or the finger mode for control of the touch screen. Right now it's on finger mode so I guess we'll try that. Like I said right now it only has one gigabyte of RAM and I'll be adding another tomorrow but I'll show you how responsive the screen is. This is a dash game, 2D game that runs well. Just for, just want to show a touch screen capabilities. You don't have to put that much pressure. It actually works like a capacitive screen, even though it's not. It's resistive. Just to point that out. See that you can play your 2D games and your online games using the touch screen which makes it slightly more fun. I will install Windows 7 Home Premium on this so everything will be erased and the reason for that is the multi-touch capabilities of Windows 7 Starter, well it doesn't have any actually and a lot of the people who buy this tend to upgrade it by installing another gig of RAM and update upgrading to at least Windows 7 Home Premium. Later on this month I am planning to add either a um, hybrid SSD hard drive or a real SSD. So that's my first impressions of the ASUS EPC T101MT. It's a nice little net vertible. I am planning to upgrade it and I'll show you the capabilities of the improved version in my following videos. Thanks for watching. Please go to mycortex.com for future videos.